Yeah, well, I'm not coming back. Just throw my stuff out then. I don't care if he's sorry. I know I messed up, but I'm done. We've all been done with this for months. Just forget I was ever there. Bye. God damn it. Oh. Hey. Did I wake you? Oh, that's good. I was about to make us breakfast. Gotta find some way to make myself useful. Yeah, then she called. Hmm. Saw I wasn't in my room and started spam calling. She... sort of tried to apologize? I don't know why. It's pretty obvious she was calling because she was worried I was doing something illegal. Clearly I'm not. Unless your parents got all their money from crimes you want me to be the fall guy for. Ugh, just trying to lighten the mood. I'm still kind of out of it. It does suck to lose most of my stuff like that, but I don't have a choice. I can't exactly take my favorite childhood plushies with me when I'm not sure if I'm going to be homeless tomorrow. I... I can't right now. Enough of all that. What do you feel like? Maybe scrambled eggs? You don't have eggs. Well, I'm sure I can whip up something. Huh? You have, like, no food in here. Except leftover takeout. Do you do your grocery shopping on the weekends? Oh my god. Just takeout and fast food? That's it? You know there are places that deliver groceries, right? Alright, breakfast is cancelled. We're going shopping. Wow. This is so... different. Uh... I don't know. I haven't been to a grocery store without my mother in ages. It's kind of... thrilling. Yeah, I know that's lame. But out of the two of us, I'm the one who knows more about getting a good deal and what stuff to buy. So if we're measuring maturity... I could also measure it by you eating takeout every day. That's not healthy. Oh yeah? When was the last time you ate a vegetable? You know burger toppings don't count. Ah oh boy. First stop is the produce section. Oh, great. These are on sale. That's actually a really good price. What all am I going to buy? Hmm. I would have made a list, but since you're lacking everything, I think I'll just buy what my mother would usually get. I would like to load up on essentials, but seeing as we don't have a car, we'd have a hard time getting it all back to your apartment. At least there's two of us. Uh... Maybe I'm going overboard. It's your apartment, after all. I just kinda dragged you out here. You don't mind. Well, I guess you didn't have plans anyway. It's not like you've been secretive about your lack of social life. I didn't say I was judging you. I'm the same way. 
I just figured with all the free time you have, you'd be able to go grocery shopping. Or cook. You don't know how. Come on. I'm not an expert, but I at least know what I'm doing. One of the few benefits of my mother watching me like a hawk is that I was able to learn to cook from her. So even if I don't know how to make something, following a recipe is easy for me. Sure, I can make that, if you want. It'll have to be brunch at this point, and we'll need eggs for it. Huh? You want me to cook for you all the time? You haven't even tried anything I've made yet. I guess I don't mind cooking the meals while I'm staying with you. But you need to be able to take care of yourself. I'm not going to be living with you forever. We shouldn't talk about that here. Come on, we need bread too. I think that's everything we need. Let's... Self-checkout. Sure. The cashier was my first instinct. My mom always hated using the self-checkout. Said it was too complicated. Alright then. You scan all bag. Hmm? Yeah, I'm kind of a pro at this. I've got these bags packed like Tetris. That's everything, right? How much is it? What? You already paid? Yeah, but I'm the one imposing. The least I could do is... Oh. Well... Thanks. That was... fun. I think so. Just getting to walk around the store at my own pace and pick up what I wanted. It was nice. It was a good distraction from talking about this, at least. Would living with you be easier? Yes. Is it a good idea? Well, I know what my therapist would tell me. Former therapist, anyway. Okay, just... For now, I'm living with you. And it's very generous of you to let me stay, and I'm very grateful. But I will still be looking for a job. And that will probably lead me to finding my own place. Or at least paying rent at your place. I don't have to pay. Oh boy. We've talked about this before. I don't see how I can help you. Not that kind of help? Cleaning. Do you even need help with that? Despite the lack of food, your apartment is pretty tidy. Cooking. Yeah, I was gonna do that anyway, like you said. But I'm gonna be teaching you at least the basics. I don't want you going back to fast food the second I'm not around. Okay, now you're just being childish. <laughs> right. Sure. Let's just get back to the apartment. Hmm? Any plans today? Yeah, cooking brunch and then job searching. <laughs> Don't boo me, this is important. And it's not like you're doing anything amazing. A movie. What movie? That sounds... kind of interesting. 
I... You know what? Cooking lesson first. Then we can talk about... other stuff. Yeah, if you help me cook brunch, I'll think about it. But, hey, slow down. It's not a race. It's a stupid long document. It's a long and it's a broken yonder script. <laughs> <laughs>